Okay, so I just found out. So I'm looking at the microphone. I just found out that for some reason, even though my audio said it was on the Yeti microphone, it was actually using my laptop mic, which is super cool. Very inconvenient. I don't know why I did that. I was like, I was like, it looks like it's picking up like a ton of background. I should have messed with it, but oh well. Uh, but now we fixed it. Now it looks fine. Now everything looks fine. So. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we need to talk to Strife and Erlen. Do you, do you just want me to, like, fast travel back? Is that why you had the pop-up? I mean, I could walk back, but I guess I'll... It's not that far. I don't like having to hold the button down to, like, affirm certain things. I'm like, just, just let me click it, you know? cool map they've got. Yo, it's bad. Let's just, uh, it's bad. Did you find our scouts? Yeah. They're dead. I'm sorry. Elganon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Traitors. <laughs> what about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgernon and Gilanin use them like puppets. This has to be like so incredibly like devastating for anybody who is a believer, you know? Oh I dare say it was a show of force. Just more guns just gonna show up? <laughs> okay. They will not rest until you are on your knees. Fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Look at her power. standing like that. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Mm -hmm. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. It's so wild to hear her voice coming out of a face that doesn't look... Like, they didn't do a ton of changes on her look between 1 and 2. Or, sorry, uh, 1 and 3, I guess. Origins and Inquisition. But... Yeah, I like that she looks a little, little bit older, but the standing there like that... The, I mean, she does love to make an entrance. So, uh, let's see. I mean, I think this would be a reasonable question to ask, you know? I know who she is, but she's like, like, so that, that's, but like, who are you, you know? So, who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds. Friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Which of the She's words? got her mom's... An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. <laughs> the fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Ah, uh, she is wearing what looks very similar to Flemeth's headgear that she had. Oh my gosh, is that going to indicate anything? Because at the end of um, Inquisition, Mythal Flemeth sends a bit of herself through the Alluvian, and many of us were assuming that she was sending it to Moragon. Um, yeah, let's just be... <laughs> I was hoping what we saw at Demeter's Crossing would be the worst of it. Tis but the start, I fear, and ignorance provides a feeble shield. Okay! Right. <laughs> what can you tell Thanks. us? Thanks! As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Yes. Ooh. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf? So I have come to learn. Nah. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history. Yes. And why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain <laughs> it to him. 
Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I love that. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. I love that they uh, called that out because, yes, he did. If, if you had him with you in the Temple of Mythal and Morrigan was was with you, she was, you're like, what's this? And she's like, oh, let me tell you what it is. And then he'd be like, <laughs> and he would just, like, activate in the background. Um... Would we feel some guilt for it, or would we be just angry? I think it, this kind of follows what we did in the Demeta's Crossing, where it's like we sort of judged that guy for being unjust, you know, for being, or not unjust, but like we kind of gave him a justice as we deemed it, you know? Um, like, we didn't cause this, you know what I mean? Like, choices were made by other entities that are affecting everybody, but yeah. All this horror because a bunch of power-hungry gods want even more power. When have the powerful among us ever done otherwise? So how do we stop them? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? Yeah. He had a dagger. But it got lost. It in was chaos. stabbed in Varric. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his. Well, he calls it the Lighthouse. Ah, yes. The legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithin. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Illuvians better than most. How convenient. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods. And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? I'm glad somebody's having a mental breakdown about it because I feel like most people are being like, oh, yep, there goes our entire religion. And not like, do not like, you know, not like uh, taking it for like, the, like there would be like a panic. You know what I mean? Like there would be like an utter collapse of like Dalish like civilization, I think in many ways, you know, like so much of it was bound up in their old belief system, like, what they had of it, you know? It was precious because all they had was fragments, you know? And now it's like, oh, JK, like, I'm really hoping, I'm hoping that this game does something to undermine, like, the cult of the maker or something, because tearing apart, the elves just can't catch a break, you know? It's like, first they were decimated for their religion, because, well, at least in Hell, I'm sure, all right, like, in the Dales, they were, they were decimated for believing in their own gods, you know? And then now it's like, oh, you know how you fought for that and a bunch of people died for that? Well, it turns out it was just, you know, for nothing, but not really. But, like, kind of feels like that. Step by step. We stand up against them one step at a time. We don't have all the answers, but we know what we need I'm to so do. I'm so short. You're fixing the Alluvian at the lighthouse, and Nev, Harding, and I are going to find this dagger at the ritual site. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. I just... Right. Let's I move. feel like Morgan would rather take an active role in things, at least from behind the scenes, you know? Uh-huh. We did decide to leave the mayor to his fate. Having them three out was interesting. Made unexpected acquaintances in the most unusual of places. Oh, we're just gonna hop right in. You're just gonna throw me right into it. Okay. I guess that's fine. Meh. The magic is all magic y here, too. <sighs> you can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. Are you good? Where is she? 
she having trauma in the area because she saw Varric get stabbed here? I should have taken the shot. That would have made things oh, worse. Oh, yeah, no. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. So do you! Work against something unfamiliar. Working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. Uh, I mean, I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of more annoyed with Harding than anybody else. Like, I get where she's coming from. I get that she's having a hard time because she feels responsible for this. And that Varric, who is, like, everyone's dad, is, like, you know, was injured and nearly killed. You know? And then, like, the world's falling apart. But, like, I don't know. Like... Taking the shot at Holos was gonna do what? Like he's a god. Like you know, like essentially, he's a very, very powerful made with god, major with godlike powers. Like an arrow, he would have just grabbed it out of the air, probably. You know, like <laughs> just I. Uh, she's she's trying to like put too much of the blame on herself and like a martyred status, and she's picking a fight with anybody, especially Neve. Like it seems like she's just like. Like, Neve is, like, slower, steadier, like, trying to be a little more emotionally distanced in order to, like, actually approach things from, like, a logic logical standpoint, whereas Harding's like, I'm gonna be very, just, like, irrational about it all. You didn't take the shot. I destroyed the statue. Who do you want to blame more for the outcome? We all did what we thought was best in the moment. And look where it got us. Yeah. Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solace is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. I mean... And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. And we're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting, you push for answers and action. While I can get stuck on questions forever. Well... We need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. Aw, look at us. Fighting the unknown. Being friends. Exactly. Everyone has a part Showing to play. our strengths. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. Nah. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. Yep, it's power I think friendship. I can manage that. Listen. Then let's find Solace's dagger. It'll be a start. Listen, listen, listen power of friendship. I've heard that it gets less handholdy as the game goes on, so let's hope for that. It might is the bottom of my feet, bear. Oh, in this armor, I think I'm I don't have shoes. I don't know why this is what we decided. Like why I know why we decided cuz like, you know, potentially like there's like the idea that elves like to, you know, feel the feel the earth beneath their feet, you know, connected to, like the magic of the earth or whatever even if you don't have magic necessarily but all elves apparently Look. there's magic lingering in the spot Whoa. strong old the dagger was here something took it i mean that's an interesting way to look at it this could have been something else unrelated entirely or part of the you know the big ritual everything was like evaporated i feel like i started a thought and i did not finish it but that's <laughs> Dark spawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out. I don't like the look of that one. Why is there blight everywhere? And why do I have to keep touching it? The way we interact with blight in these games and red lyrium and everything is just so funny. It's like, oh yeah, don't touch it, it'll corrupt you. And we proceed to shove our faces into it. Oh, the red lyrium is invading and like it's bad for look, the area. Goes. And then you just like punch some sometimes, and Varric's like, "Yay! Thanks for getting rid of that." Uh, you know what I mean? It's just like a massive outcrop of red lyrium, and then like destroying one. Varric's like, "Yay!" And it's like, how does that? How does that actually help anything? Why are you so gross? Big dark spawn coming right at us. Uh, oh, let's see if I can remember. Okay. There we go. I got it. We have to go after that ghoul. Let's get this gate open. Oh, do I have? Look up there. That magical device. Wow. Okay. Uh, do I have points? Yes. I 
I mean, I'm working. Yeah, working towards that, but. Shield toss damage. Oh, I wanna I wanna be I wanna be Hades. And by Hades I mean Zagreus in Hades, who is when he holds Aegis. <laughs> okay. There's that. Oh, see, that's one of the, the statues that I'm really familiar with, is the upright one. I actually carved a piece of driftwood into that shape once a long time ago when I first started working as sort of like a... Like a worry stone type thing, and I actually lost it on my first week of work. And I was really sad because I did a re I took a bunch of pictures, luckily, like, but... It was really, really well made, in my opinion. I thought I did a really great job, and then I lost it. So some someday, somewhere, maybe some archaeologist will <laughs> find a funny little... Uh, carved wolf statue. It's just like the size of my thumb, you know? Don't tell me we're. Oh, okay, I was like, I'm gonna be so angry if this is for blowing things up. Work. Let's keep on the trail. Okay, this is again an odd way, and like, unless uh, I could see maybe for like a fortification that like you have to have odd ways to open doors, maybe? But. Nice. I like, I like that. Ooh. I am glad I did not buy it. I almost bought this. Actually, this looks really cool, and I kind of want to keep it on, but, like, I kind of want to see my face. Hide during conversations. It's a pretty cool helmet. I'm going to leave it on for now. Thank you. This is cool. I like being able to find stuff. I guess we probably Dark won't be crafting. Don't collect things, do they? Solus's dagger is special. They might have been drawn to it. It does have the energy of a god. Or they're just uh, being controlled by Gilanon. Anyone spot that ghoul? It must have come this way. Ooh, the elven elk. You could ride them in the last game, which was really cool. I don't know if we get to ride anything in this game. Probably not. We're not doing like a big Look out. open worldy type thing. Ah, I call that a win. Ah, thank you. Um I just wanted to make sure that this doesn't have like anything for me to click on. I would like to get an ability that lets me like lets my shield bounce between people. That would be cool. Yikes. I think that is Mythal. Oh yeah, I'm sure this is fine and normal. Okay, okay. Perform take okay. I did notice some sort of stagger meter above the the one I killed. The dark spawn I killed. Ooh, grimy rag, valuable item. Thanks. Oh, I met. Oh, I got it. Ouch. Oh, what's the takedown? Or the ultimate? I'm doing my ultimate, rather. <laughs> wow! Okay, that's cool. Did you find the dagger? I don't think these darkspawn took it. Let's keep looking. I saw the, like, right, like, the, the, I saw it glowing, the glowing, like, thing down at the bottom, and I was like, click the buttons, <laughs> click the glowing buttons. So I did. Ancient bridge, entering new area. Why is my game, like, all of a sudden really not good? Oh, this is why it's a trail. Okay. I feel like I'm, I've got frame rate issues. The recording looks fine, though. Oh, yeah. Turn the vignette off. Ah! Oh, much better, much better, much better. Maybe that'll help with my overall feeling that everything was blurred. Come on. 
I'm dead. Infected with the blight. The music's gonna be so sad we'll be every back. time we're in like. Oh, a dagger thief. Every time we're in like uh, the elven areas. More blight in the way. Oh, you do have it. Thank you for showing it to me. I appreciate that. You look like one of the old um, elven darkspawn from Origins. Oh! Well, if I can die, don't let me walk off the edge. Oh, okay, I see. I think everybody probably has and there's probably another one probably has some sort of ranged attack even if you're not like a rogue or a bow and arrow specialist do you want me to go in the water like what oh maybe I can get in here oh hey look at that stuff also I am getting an astronomical amount of gold Oh, another druid person. Dryad, dryad person. Oh, maybe we need to remove this to like see something? I don't know. Bye, Harding. Oh, under here, okay. Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. Yeah. Oh, it went all the way. I was like, cause I was like, I was like, this one connects right here, but it went all the way through, all the way across. Why do I have to touch it? I don't want to touch it. Comma heater. All right, let's see. Just let me, let me look at it. Let me look at it in my inventory screen. It has a lot more stagger. Doesn't block quite as much, but that's fine. The elven ghouls in, or not ghouls, rather. Um, a ghoul is like any sort of mortal creature that has been like affected by the blight to the point where it's um, dark spawn light. Oh, there. there was a takedown there that I didn't do. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Ow. Stop. Another one of those magical beams. Wow, convenient. Oh, you can loot these, these guys. devices this time. I bet we'll need to direct beams at both of them. Well, that's crazy. That's one. Now to find the other. I don't know what the point of the crystals and stuff is yet, you know? Yikes, almost fell off the edge. Good work. Now let's see what's behind that gate. I also opened up a... A thing. This thing. Oh, that's the way we're supposed to go. So this is just like extra. Okay, what I have currently is... Oh, no, that is better than mine. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, let's turn this on. Or no, it's just different ways to get where we need to go or secrets. But yeah, no, seeing Morgan's kind of odd because it's like, I always, even in Inquisition, I felt like she was extremely underutilized, right? Where it's like, the Morgan I know is somebody who would be at least involved in some way, even if she was like manipulating from behind the scenes or 
or something, you know? And I'm not saying she should stay the same person forever, but I could never see Morrigan just being happy in some sort of advisor role, you know? She, she was more of a woman of action, even if it wasn't action that you necessarily looked at and were like, oh yeah, she's, she's kicking butt and taking names, you know? It's like, she's more subtle than that. She can be. She also has entropic magic, so like, she can do all kinds of things. Can't really see what I'm doing, but okay. I'm having a good time. I keep not blocking. Yeah, I am. Owie. Ooh! Ooh! A takedown just knocked him right out. Entering the old quarry. Okay, make a running leap. Yay! Wonderful. I'm glad they don't like, you know, baby um, baby me on that. It's like, okay, it's a big, you know, gap. I'll take a running leap. It is kind of funny that stuff's just laying around apparently. Clay it jar. The ghoul we're tracking. Better hope it still has the dagger. Uh Yee! Yeah. This is definitely a boss area. Yeah. Delirium ghoul. Uh... Ooh, nice. <laughs> Ew, I'm necrosied. Necroside? There it is! I have that! <laughs> it's over there. It's right on the floor. Oh, is this where? Hunting? Yeah. So I'm not the one to touch a thing this time. I mean. I mean, she'll be fine because she gets stone powers after this, but like, whoa. This is the eternal hymn, the prayer and the proclamation. <sighs> Titan powers, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it. We are three against all again. Here again. I, I, I bet you that's Titan stuff. It. The stone. The song of the stone. I knew it! I knew it! I called this ages ago! What is happening to me? What the? Dwarves have magic again! Because it was stolen from them by the elves back in the day. Oh, okay, so this is an actual. Yeah, okay, uh, okay, um... I mean... Um... Oh! That's cool! Wow, okay! 
I dodged that. I just knocked it off! I did, I mean, I knew it had some knockback, but that's funny. I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, hang on. I was busy. Oh, I'm gonna get knocked off the edge. There we go. I was like, let me hang on. Where am I? Oh, hang on. There's something else. Oh, oh. Another lyrium ghoul. Interesting. So a lyrium infested Ugo ghoul. You just, I think you just blocked my, um. Get down. Can I just knock it off the edge? Dang it, I can't knock it off the edge. Okay, something is behind me. I'm also not 100% sure why everything seems to aim at me. Unless it's because I'm the warrior, in which case makes sense. Where did it go? Oh, I did my whole ultimate and it moved? Gosh, dang it. Oh, I am in trouble. Dang it! Ah, uh, gosh, dang it. I was trying to figure out how to use the healing. But I think, um... I think Harding does have some healing, but it was the other one. Bellara, who have more healing abilities. Dang it. Okay, got it with my ultimate. Which feels very weird to say. Ooh, that's so fun. They have a cool, like the, the effect looks really cool, you know? That, that dagger. It what gave it you magic back. Not sure, but we should get back. We'll talk it through there. The dwarves are gonna get magic back because now the titans are awakening. Your pet has failed, <gasps> sister. Oh, 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 oh. Now the magic of the dread wolf's dagger is hidden from me. Then Harel meddles once again. If his dagger is beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made of red lyrium. Ah, oh, yes. Well, that felt a little slightly pointless, but like... I was like, why? Why red lyrium? Uh, uh, ostensibly because they're like, ooh, we love using the blight. But like, oh my gosh, Elgernon and Gillanon, and she's as creepy as I was hoping! Kitty cat, not right now. You said something took you over. Mm, something like that. And it's still with you. Hey, yes. We both have riders. I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? The or why? The dagger must have been a part of the... I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. Like the ceiling of it's Titan right. powers. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. And I didn't have to be the one who got the superpower. Although, to be fair, I'm not a dwarf. Dwarves so. have never used magic. We can't. Oh, okay. And it gives me... Uh, I see up above. Um... Rook is optimistic, Rook is wary, Rook is baffled. I mean, I'm optimistic about it, but I think Rook wouldn't necessarily know about the Titans. <sighs> I honestly don't know what to think. Tell me about it. I've informed Harding Maybe that I think her I magic time. is bizarre? It's all 
strange, but somehow I feel connected. I mean, it was just like, to, it's, it's just to odd. The, to the stone. And she's a surface dwarf. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, lyrium veins, and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. Or just gave you something. But, but this is more than the stone sense I know. I know it's strange, but is this going to create problems for us? No! I trust you have this all handled. You always have things handled. I just hope I can use this magic to do what's right. I mean, it's odd, but I like, faith. you know. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the face. Oh, we're gonna do some chit-chatting. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but... I know it feels right. Dagna would be losing her mind if she was in Harding's position. With their eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Oh yeah? Harding what? told herself it felt right. Uh oh. She was connected to the stone, mm -hmm. to the lost titans, mm -hmm. and all of dwarven history with its buried secrets. Yeah. How could that be anything but good? <gasps> will Gilanon get a foothold on her, maybe? Or will the Titans be, like, super angry? The Titans might be really angry, but we've got... The the l red lyrium is blighted lyrium, right? So, like, that can be bad. So maybe some of the Titans have been blighted now? Oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, that makes sense. But... My regards. Send them my regards. Uh-huh. Seemingly rekindling a forgotten link between her and the stone. It does feel like we're barreling towards this, right? It's not really letting us sit with this. And it's like rekindling is a very specific word, not just acquired, a for, uh, you know, a link. It's rekindling a forgotten link. You know what I mean? Like, we've jumped to the conclusion, I feel, a little too fast. But I guess, I mean, Harding was there. At least she was in the Inquisition during all of our Titan stuff. So she would probably have an idea of it. But the whole Descent DLC was about the Titans and about the Blighted Blood and everything. Um, that they, that the that Lyrium is, you know. Um, and I, uh, I think a few months ago I had this theory where I saw, I saw her use the stone powers like in the trailer and I was like, oh snap. I was like, this also, it looks like what Solus does at the end of Inquisition when he takes Mythal's powers into himself. And he like, ha or his, I guess it's, not, it's not there that he uses it yet. It's like he, he, has, he takes the Mythal powers and then at the end of the Trespasser, you see him turning Kunari into stone, right? And we know there's something in Origins, and again, they could be maybe, you know, ignoring this or whatever, doing like a soft reboot of everything. But like, in Origins, you learn that... I think Origins, a little bit in Origins, and then um, in a lot in Inquisition, especially, where is it in Inquisition specifically? But that, oh, it's in Trespasser, um, where, like, uh, besides the Descent DLC, that you learn that the elves, like, the elven gods, the Evanures, like, they um, captured the Titans somehow, contained them, and potentially killed them. I can't quite remember if it's, like, stated exactly what happens, but, like, and it's potentially why the dwarves have all, because they are children of the stone in some way. Somehow, that's connect. there's a connection there, right? And the stone has always, has been, like, maybe, like, a sort of, like, a half awake, or maybe just, like, dreaming. Maybe the stone has been dreaming, and that's how, like, there's still been a connection between the dwarves and the stone, right? That's what they call their, their like, divinity, sort of. Not really divinity. They don't worship her. She's just, like, it's just, like, a an entity that they acknowledge exists so you know some sort of divine entity things are written in the stone you know and that means like written in the rock for like permanent record you know children of the stone all this stuff but like yeah no the elves took something the elven gods took something from the titans from the dwarves back in the day way 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 back and at one point a bunch of 
Oh no, that's different in Origins where a bunch of elves try to find sanctuary and you don't know why at the time. Like, it doesn't really say what they're running from unless it's potentially the fall of Arlathan. But, uh, there's elves that go with the dwarves and try to live underground for a bit and then uh, the Orzammar or somebody, some noble, hears about it and kills them to gain favor, I think, with Tevinter who's hunting them down, I think. Um, so that's something else entirely. But yes, 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 this is so cool. I mean, it's kind of nice that we're just hopping right into it and not acting like, you know, we don't know, you know, because at least those of us with like a bunch of lore knowing are like, we know, you know, <laughs> so. Oh, it's worse, cool. <sighs> nope, the one I bought better, thanks though. Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solus. Mm -hmm. Level six. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, sick. Let me level up then. Okay, now I can get the. I will be probably working towards these. This right line over to the Reapers, but I do want to have this. Yes, because I keep thinking I do, and I'll see a projectile heading my way, and I want to like send it back, and I don't. Okay, okay. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, this is fun. I love. I love this stuff. It's very, very fun. <laughs> I like that we just, like, not just punch the ground, but, like, just, like, elbow slam the ground out of, like, rage. What did we get in the codex? Elven people. From Strife's journal, journal, Ruins Reach. Veil Jumper recruits always ask me the same question. What is Ruins Reach? I tell them it depends on the day of the week. It's always changing. One week the trees turn blue. The next you'll hear voices speaking to you from thin air. The truth is we don't know what it is. We only know that a stretch of forest where you could have a pleasant picnic is now an ever-shifting hall of mirrors and chaos. It's like reality is trying to figure out what it wants to be, what shape it wants to take, and it keeps changing its mind. I've explored Arlathan Forest for much of my life, and I've never felt so confused. The forest I once knew is becoming something else. Oh, snap. The Fade is encroaching. The Dwarven people! An unsent letter from Harding to her mother. My dearest Ma, I'm writing to you from Minrathis and to Vinter. I'm into Vinter. Isn't that amazing? Yes, there are power hungry mages and slavers and cultists, but the city is so much more than that. You should see the magical lights. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's power hungry mages and slavery, but there's magic lights also, so it's not that bad. What? I've mentioned this before, but I don't really work for the Inquisition the way I used to. It's complicated. I do miss it. I miss Skyhold and my friends there, but Charter still keeps in contact, and I'm working with Beric doing something really important. Wish I wish I could tell you more. Soon, though. We're really close to finding the person we've been tracking. Once it's over, I'll come home, and you'll get to hear the whole story. Maybe I'll even be in time for the sheep shearing. Lots of love, Lace. Yeah, her parents, her family lives in the hinterlands. That's why she was a scout for us out there. Um, and she's just been with us ever since, in the Inquisition, anyway. Miscellaneous. Harding's note, Lyrium's dagger, Lyrium dagger. They had no idea it was a dagger when they found it. The cat. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, it, look, it looked like an idol with figures carved from red Lyrium. Oh, what? They had no idea it was a dagger. We're we talking about the red Lyrium dagger? When they found it in the primeval tag, it looked like an idol with figures carved from red lyrium. Didn't want to stare too long at it, Varric once said. Felt like it was staring back. His brother, Bartrand, kept the idol for himself and probably stared at it too much too long. When he felt his sanity slipping, Bartrand sold the idol to Knight Commander Meredith Kirkwall, who forged the idol into a blade. It didn't end well for her. The idol remained lodged in Meredith's petrified remains until it was removed some years ago, presumably by Solus, and restored to its original form. That's when we learned about the idol's connection to the elven gods. Solus used a lyrium dagger to create the veil, and he's going to use it to bring the veil down. Uh, hold on, uh, hold on. So we're talking about the red lyrium idol that has turned into the blue lyrium dagger that we have. So he like unblighted it. And how did we know this? It looked like an idol. So are we like rewriting history sort of? Which is again, I don't mind the flexibility. What I mind the flex when I mind flexibility is when it's like trying to like just like genericify everything. You know, like the game developers are trying to genericify it, you know? 
I mean, did I mean it may be because of course red lyrium does grow like lyrium grows a little bit so like it could have grown overgrown itself been carved into an idol put there left for us to find and the idol room that was like a long term thing like in Inquisition it was well known that there that the lyrium was still there the red lyrium because Meredith had turned into like red lyrium. And they just, like, left it there in the city, though, which was why. Because they're like, oh, we'll just keep people away from it. And it's like, it spreads and it, like, corrupts, you know? So it's a good thing he took it out. It means Kirkwall hasn't been overwhelmed with blight. But, um, restored to its original form. How? He unblighted it. It's perfectly blue now. And so this does, this dagger does seem to house a bit of a titan soul or titan spirit. And it was blighted. And the Titan didn't sound friendly. Not that I would imagine that the Titan would be friendly at this point, necessarily. After being locked away for so- for like millennia. For many millennia. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I do wish we had better... Oh, and this is the dagger that he used to create the veil. Nobody told me that. Or maybe they didn't. I just didn't pay attention when I was too busy staring at him. Probably, that's probably what happened. But um, this was the dagger that was used to create the veil itself. And he's going to use it to bring the veil down. That's actually crazy. It's not just like, I thought it was just like, I mean, it's obviously a god, like a god artifact of some sort. Where it's like imbued with some sort of divinity or power, like superpower, you know. But, uh, this is like, I mean, this thing isn't just like, oh yeah, it's a dagger, a super magical dagger that belonged to a deity, or a deity-like entity. It's like the actual artifact that turned, that created the veil. Crazy. Crazy! Sorry, I've like sunk down so far in my chair now at this point, but you can still see... So, <laughs> um... Okay, this is, wow, we are getting lore dumped on. This is pretty wild. We have to level people up. Can you guys just level up yourself? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Go. I think these episodes are gonna be pretty long. Um, because I want to make sure stuff happens in them. Because I tend to go off and be super excited about the lore. But yeah, anyway. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm gonna cut away now to my Patreon thank yous. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it, and I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give another shout out to Sebastian James, who's also a Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for joining, my friend. I appreciate it. And I want to give a super special shout out to my forest tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you so much, Christopher, for your support. I always appreciate it and all your comments. Thank you so much. And I want to give a shout out to Nightshade also. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you joining up. So thank you all again for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.